Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. In today's video, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite Forza expansions of all time. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion. As well as, we will also don the tinfoil cap and talk about Forza Horizon 4's third expansion. Also, really quickly before we do jump into today's video, I did want to give you guys a little disclaimer. Right now, when you guys watch this, I'm actually going to be in the UK on vacation. Now, I know today there is a big Forza update that's getting announced. Usually, I would make a video on it, but since I'll be in the UK, I won't have any of my stuff and I won't be able to do it properly. However, if you do want to know what's included, jump into our Discord. Everything you need to know is going to be over there. But since I'm recording this a week in advance and nobody knows what's in the update yet, I did want to give some predictions as to what's coming. Four new cars. Aston Martin Vulcan Pro, AE86, Spiker C8, fourth one, I have no idea. Anyways, to answer my first question, what happened to Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions? If, I, if we are going to answer that, we need to rewind the clocks a little bit. So, for those of you who don't know, the LEGO Speed Champions expansion came out back in June of 2019. It included three cars, a brand new LEGO-inspired universe for us to drive around in, as well as some brick challenges for us to complete the LEGO story. Just take a look at what the expansion included. For example, those three cars, they are LEGO cars, and in that fact, they are unique based off of it. The same thing goes for the LEGO world itself. It was filled with plenty of stunts, a very, very cool airport for us to go and drive around, as well as something we've been asking forever, a race course in the actual map. There is nothing else like that. And the same thing then goes for the brick challenges. We haven't had anything like that since back in the day in Forza Horizon 1 when we had our Thousand Club event. Although it's a little bit different being the brick challenges, it was still fun regardless. Now I know not everybody shared that same opinion of the LEGO expansion, but for me it was truly special. For those of you who don't know, I, when I was a kid, never actually really played around with LEGO, so this expansion was kind of my first proper introduction to it. And it actually triggered something in me. I, as an early birthday present, actually got given all three of those LEGO cars that were in Forza Horizon 4 in real life. And you might have seen me either build them on stream, or build them on a video, or one of those people who made fun of how slow I build LEGO. <laughs> Regardless though, I've just found it super relaxing and therapeutic and have enjoyed every single moment of it. We will come back to my LEGO addiction in a little bit though. However, not to mention this LEGO expansion is also doing great things for the Xbox, the Forza, the Playground games, as well as the LEGO brand as a whole. For example, Xbox is currently selling this, an Xbox One S that has all this LEGO Speed Champions branding on. And to my knowledge, people have really, really enjoyed that so far. However, the one thing that people didn't really enjoy, and I think I can speak for just about everybody when I say our one major complaint with this LEGO expansion was just the lack of cars. It launched with three cars. When you compare that to other Forza expansions that had eight or 10 cars, you can kind of see where we're coming from. However, in August of 2019, there was actually a fourth LEGO car that was added in, the Forza LEGO Barn Find, which was an old classic Porsche and was also super cool. Again, people enjoyed that, but you're still about four cars too short if you compare it to some other stuff. This old classic Porsche is again doing great things for the Forza and the Xbox brand. If you go into a LEGO store right now, take a look at the classic Porsche box, you'll see a little Forza Horizon 4 logo on there, which is awesome. However, still at the end of the day, you're about four cars too short of the other expansions, which brings me on to what I wanted to talk about today because it is now 2020, there are a bunch of brand new LEGO Speed Champions cars and I wanted to talk about those things and Forza Horizon 4. For those of you who haven't seen the LEGO Speed Champions cars for 2020, here is what they are. You've got a Lamborghini Urus and a Hurricane Super Trofeo. If you've got a bit of a green thumb, you've got a Jaguar E-Pace and the Jaguar Formula E-Car. Or maybe absolute powerhouses are your thing. You've got a Nissan Nismo GTR, which is oh. You've got a Ferrari F8, or if more older things are your style, you've got an old Audi S1 Quattro, the Rally Monster. So Forza, I would just like to ask, 
Can we have some of those in the game? If you're asking me personally, I think the addition of some of these cars would be great for a number of reasons. One, you have people like me who go, hey, that car's in Forza, I want to build that same car in real life. You want proof of that? For Christmas, I am not even joking, I got all of the brand new LEGO Speed Champion sets. So I'm just gonna say, if you wanna see me struggle at building any of those cars, make sure you come out to some of my streams because I will be building all of those cars as well as I also got a LEGO Porsche Technic car, which is like the super big ones. It, it built a LEGO addiction in me, like I said, which again is good for LEGO is good for Forza. And two, not to mention, it also grows the game because when people see Lego cars that are in a video game, they go, hey, I want I want to try that car in a video game. And then they go and buy Forza. It works both ways. It is a perfect relationship. So again, I asked Forza, Xbox, Playground Games, Lego, can we please get some of those cars in the game? They would be so cool. Not to mention the nerdy side of me also goes, maybe getting some of those Lego cars into the game wouldn't really be too much work, considering Forza already has all of the textures, as well as a bunch of the Lego pieces already in like their model software. All you would really need to do is basically build a Lego car, and then you would need somebody to go in and build some of the stickers for it to make it look all pretty and fancy-like. And then you need to go in and map the car so you can paint it yourself individually in the game. So, I mean, I don't think it would be too much work. However, I think it might be a licensing issue. The number one problem of why we don't have certain cars in video games. However, that's also confusing because I'm not even joking. Four out of those five brands that I mentioned, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Audi, and Nissan have all been cover cars for Forza in the past. So there must be some relationship there somewhere. And honestly, I can't really see why any of these brands would be opposed to it. Like, you know the power of Xbox, you know the power of Lego, and you know the power of these real life car manufacturers. I can't really see where you lose out. Anyways, all this to say, Lego, Playground Games, whoever, can we please have some more cars in this expansion because I want all the more reason to go back to the LEGO universe in Forza Horizon 4 and some new cars would definitely make me jump into it. After saying all of that, the number one question that I've been getting from you guys over on my Twitter and on my Instagram is about Forza Horizon 4's third expansion and if there is one. So it's time to put the tinfoil hat on. Let's figure it out. So, a third expansion in Forza Horizon 4. Is there one coming? We have absolutely no idea. Forza hasn't said anything, and we have no proof of one ever existing. We've never got a third expansion for Forza games in the past, so we really have absolutely no idea. There is still almost a year until the next Forza game comes out, so... There must be something, right? And this is where things get kind of disappointing because if you ask me personally, I don't think there will be a third expansion. I can't truly see them making another map for this game. I can see them adding on to the already existing maps of the mainland, Lego Valley, as well as Fortune Island. Now we have absolutely no proof of this, but maybe crossing fingers, we could potentially see some new game modes, the same way that the Eliminator was added to the mainland as a free update for everybody, maybe we could see the same thing with like the LEGO universe or Fortune Island. I honestly have absolutely no idea, but since we do have a year until the next Forza game, I would definitely like to see something get tossed in. For example, way way back in the day for Forza Horizon 1, like I said, we had that thousand club event which was basically three challenges for every single car in the game. It was a free update for everybody. Maybe we could get something like that for Forza Horizon 4. I don't know though. Let me know though if you guys have any ideas for a third expansion in Forza Horizon 4. What do you think could get added in that wouldn't take so much time, doesn't involve a third map? Let me know in the comments down below. I, meanwhile, will be crossing fingers for some more Lego cars in this game, as well as hopefully not struggling so much with my real-life Lego build. As per always, if there is any information about a third expansion for this game, you guys will hear about it here first. So make sure you subscribe for that. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon.
This is more Forza Horizon 4 gameplay. See you guys then. Bye!